Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the next level of analytics in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. First of all, we will discuss about the types of analytics and then we will compare these what are the things available in Power BI. The first thing is what has happened and the next is why it has happened and the next stage is what will happen and the last is how it can happen. The level of value and complexity between these stages is different. The light color refers to the low level of value and complexity and the dark color refers to the high level of complexity and value. Now let's discuss in detail about these four types of analytics. The first one is what? It is nothing but a descriptive analytics. What happened? It is simply we can visualize the data without explaining why. Example, analyzing the total sales or total profit or total quantity we produced which is available in Power BI as a regular bar chart or line chart, we can use it here. So it consists of what has happened and it is a descriptive analytics, the first stage of data analytics. The next is diagnostics analytics. It is why it has happened. Slicing and drill down the data to know the reason why it has happened, which is also available in Power BI as slicer drill down our filters we can slice and dice the data or else you can also use the a visuals like key influencer decomposition tree smart narratives all these things help us to find out the insight of the data why it has happened and the next stage is what will happen it is a predictive analytics it is a combination of both the descriptive and diagnostic analytics based on that we can predict the data and which is also available in Power BI as a analytics pane inside the few visuals. And the last one is the prescriptive analytics. It is how it can happen. Suppose if you are expecting something to happen and what are the ways we can do the things to achieve that goal. In order to do that, we need to train our model with the help of the machine learning and algorithms of it and artificial intelligence, we can get the exact output from that. It is also available in Power BI, but it is restricted to the premium version. It is not available to the pro version. So these are the four types of analytics in Power BI, descriptive analytics, diagnostic analytics, predictive analytics, and prescriptive analytics. And all of them are available in Power BI. And it is regarding my channels. What are the things I have covered here is descriptive analytics, diagnostic analytics and predictive analytics as well. The last one is I have not covered. Hopefully I will cover this in the future upcoming days. So by just going deep into this Power BI, you can get almost all the levels of the data analytics in Power BI and which is also covered in my channel as well. So you can go through one by one to get the clear picture out of it. I hope you got a brief idea about what are the types of data analytics available and what it can relate to them in Power BI. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. If you are still not a member of our channel, please hit the join button to become a member of our channel. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.